guys welcome to another recap of the X Factor it is day one of the last week of auditions tomorrow's gonna be it so I love how they're filming the little backstories and everything at the beginning of the show it is so cool not to have a host to, to almost imagine like this is how it happened and there's all these little vignettes going on all over the place consecutively it's just so cool I love the um, little things that that happen at Britney's suite at the hotel and you know she gets the call do you want anything special oh let's yank this guy's chain let's make him get you a straw hat and then it turns into a tiara and then it's Simon's tiara it's just it's pretty funny and everybody's tweeting and the best part of the episode Simon arrives on a motorized stick up his ass <laughs> it was genius all right, so I guess he had to pull it out before he come in and do the show. Beginning the show, John and Adonis, basement dwellers, 33, 32. They're chatting up the ladies. They're trying to act like the Roxbury boys. Uh, Adonis owns a diner. That's a stretch. I'm pretty sure he's Greek. Uh, the other guy is his waiter. They, uh, the name of their group is the OGs, I guess that's Original Grease, or Original Greasers, something like that. So they sing Lionel Richie's Hello, only it was nothing like Lionel Richie ever sang. <laughs> One guy tried to sing it, and then the other guy just went like, mm, uh, yo, yeah. It was a no. It was fun though. It was funny. Fun and funny. Alright, so then there was a bunch of bad auditions. I mean, really bad auditions. But then, the sun came out, and Diana Jane showed up. Uh, 15 years old. She lives with about a thousand people. Alright, at least 20. In one house. So, she decided that she was going to sing Beyonce's If I Were a Boy. What? She whipped that song into shape. It was a wow. So uh, she was my favorite audition of the night. She was really great. It was a yes, obviously. Then Aaron Ray, 16 years old. You might remember him from last season. He auditioned solo, but they ended up throwing him in that uh, little baby group, Intensity, which was really weird. I didn't like Intensity at all last season. He pulled out an original song, and he was pretty amazing. The girls went nuts, including Demi. <laughs> or Dem Demi. Oh, God, that name is killing me. So she didn't realize he was so young. Otherwise, she probably would have scooped him up. So it was a yes. Then there were some really great auditions, and most of them just happened to be kids. There's a lot of young talent out there, i got to say. And then 145 showed up. Uh, one guy had zombie eyes, and the other guy had some sort of a puppet on his hand. <laughs> zombie eyes and puppet hands. It's a winning formula. It was all yeses. They were pretty good. They did, like, a little rap thing. Then was shang -Li. I think that was her name. She showed up in a sailor suit, but she was no child. She was 52 years old. She want to be superstar. All right, she's single because she's picky. Simon says that's okay. I am too. I was waiting for him to ask her out, but I think Carmen Electra would have been pretty pissed. Uh, I've actually heard worse than her audition. She really wasn't that bad. She was just extremely weird. Uh, but she went on and on, like the song she sang, "My Heart Will Go On," and so will this song. But unfortunately, it, for her, it was a no. All right, so that was Providence. Next stop, Greensboro, North Carolina. Austin Carini was up first, 16 years old. Uh, he was quite the little plastic boy. <laughs> he seemed so fake. Maybe it was the bleach blonde hair and the black eyebrows. They were kind of a dead giveaway. But... It didn't stop the tweenies and teenies from going nutso on him. Sign my arm! I'll be in the audience. I'll be cheering for you. Uh, Brittany loved his bleach blonde hair, probably because it was the same color as hers. Uh, he was okay. He had on some skinny girl jeans, and the judges said, 
yeah, <laughs> you're okay. Bring back some more skinny girl jeans next time you come back. Well, they didn't say that, but I'm sure they were thinking it. Cha-ching. So that was a yes. And then Nick Youngerman. He did Ice Ice Baby. It was pretty fun and funny. And it was a yes, actually. I'm curious to see how he's going to do when he has to sing a real song. Uh, then there was a sickening engaged couple. And the name of their group was Jamie. But it was actually just the guy's last name. They pulled out an original song, Will You Be My Baby? <sighs> they looked better than they sounded, let's put it that way. It was so corny, and they were sing-talking. It reminded me of when Will Ferrell and Anna Gasteyer do that uh, singing duet on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> it was a no. Unless the cruise line's going to call them up and say, Hey, would you like a job on our next cruise? All right, David Corey up next. He had a very inspiring story. He was adopted, and his birth mom was 14 years old when she had him. And he wants to win because he wants to be able to find her. He wants to be able to see where he comes from, and I don't blame him. I think that's awesome. He's got a great story. Okay vocals, great story. Pants that don't fit. His whole ass was hanging out. He needs to get some pants that fit over his ass. <laughs> Maybe $5 million will help him buy those. Uh, he'll probably get the chance because it was a yes. All right, so San Francisco. We're breezing right through the cities here. Sophie Tweed Simmons. Yes, daughter of KISS star Jean Simmons. So she made a whole point about, oh, I want to do this without my parents and blah, blah, blah. Leave them home. You brought them with you, and when they said, what's your name, you said, I'm Sophie Tweed Simmons. You could have just said Sophie, duh. <laughs> Didn't you think this out? Come on. You knew what was going to happen. She was okay. Um, <sighs> when she said she was going to sing an Adele song, I didn't hear Simon saying, like, oh, not Adele again. No, it's Sophie Tweed Simmons. She can sing whatever she wants. Or well, daddy's going to come and stick his tongue over you and drip blood on you. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, they made it like a little dramatic because L.A. said no and then everybody else said yes. Contrived. All right, let's move along. I don't know how long she's going to be around, but we'll see. Because she kind of weird. She wasn't that great, <laughs> to put it mildly. All right, so then crazy-ass vocal coach Tara Simon was up next. She was backstage, like, pacing around like a caged tiger, stretching out her arms. Whoa, don't strain your arm holding that microphone. Make sure you stretch it out. She was doing push-ups, getting some air in her vocal cord, you know, air in her lungs and blood pumping to her vocal cords. And they asked her, where do you see yourself in five years? Well, she went right to the top. I'm going to be a judge right there. And she's like... Um, I don't know whose spot I'm going to take, but I want to be on there. <laughs> because everybody was getting like, eh? Really? You want to take my spot? Bitch? Alright. <laughs> so, her performance was actually kind of weird. Alright, it was really weird. On so many levels. And the judges were all like, woo, you were really good. No, I don't think so. I think they were just baiting her. Um... Simon said she was a total drama queen. I think they just picked her to make good TV. I could be wrong. I'd love for uh, her to prove me wrong, but I think they just picked her because she's got the weird factor. All right, Daryl Black up next, 37 years old. He looks so young. It looked like he was kissing his mom at one point. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Black, but your husband looks very young. It's not that you look old. It's that he looks very young. And he said if he won the money, he was going to buy leather shorts and a unicy unicycle. A unicycle. <laughs> a unicycle. So that was fun. And uh, he said he's got five kids. Wow. And he's only 37. He's been busy. Well, he had a lovely voice. And uh, Simon said he reminded him of Nat King Cole. And I have to agree with that. It was really smooth and... Luscious. I loved it. Um, smooth yet like jazzy hipster. So it was a yes. I'm looking forward to seeing more of him. 
Then poor old Trevor, the 13-year-old vlogger, I guess from YouTube. Um, he kind of reminded me of a young Gene Wilder. Not that he was that funny or anything, just he physically looked like a young Gene Wilder. Um, he didn't stay well long enough to make it on the show to audition. They had to call in the medics, and uh, they kind of alluded to the fact that he didn't make his audition. I'm thinking he's either, like, uh, diabetic or hypoglycemic or something, and they kept him waiting along, you know, around too long without eating or something. I don't know, but it doesn't look good for poor old Trevor. But we'll find that out tomorrow, because tomorrow night is the final audition of this season. And I've got three words for it. Carnival Sideshow. Or Circus Sideshow. Yeah, that good. So, <laughs> check back tomorrow. We'll talk about it again. Till then, much love.